All right, you guys, it's Ross the Fig Boss. I thought I would just make this video to very simply talk about selling cuttings. Um, I know that probably some of you guys watching or some of you guys out there, you know, maybe you have a YouTube channel, maybe um, you guys have some sort of social, social media, some sort of platform that, you know, really doesn't pay all that much. And maybe you don't have a really big following but you can monetize that. You know, you can um, provide a product that people will enjoy. And actually, I personally think this is such a great gift, you know, um, or something to really supply to the world um, or to fans, you know, rather than just a, a hat or a shirt or something that, uh, you know, doesn't last very long or is, you know, next to meaningless. This, this is awesome because this is a tree. You know, um, either it is an actual tree or they are sticks or cuttings, I like to call them sticks, that will turn into trees. And these trees last for many years. I mean, you could have a fig tree that lasts your entire life. More, more than that. This could be, you know, something that's generational. And for me, they're, they're such special trees and it's such a special fruit that um, for me, I think at least there's, there's a lot of good in, in what I've been doing. And uh, over the years now, you know, last year we sold, I think, over, I, I either sold or gave away like 2,300, 2,400 cuttings, 2,400 sticks. That's a lot. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot of work. Um, you know, this year we changed our, our packaging up a little bit. Uh, people, you know, seem to really like you know, plastic. <laughs> they seem to really like the, you know, the fact that maybe a little bit more, they, at least they, it appears to them that a little bit more went into all of this. Whereas really there was so much work behind the scenes in prior years that went into this that they really have no idea. But, um, you know, I mean, look at the amount of wood that this person right here is getting. It's just, it's actually crazy. Um, they did order seven varieties, but you know, each individual variety is roughly a foot in length per cutting or more. You know, I tried not to cut anything that was less than a foot and even had a, a ruler with me. <laughs> As I was making the cuts, I had a ruler to make sure that I was getting at least a foot from pretty much 95% of the cuttings, I think, ended up being like that. And of course, you know, I tried to choose wood that was well lignified. And, you know, uh, once I did that, I individually labeled them into their bags. I even bought specific bags, which I'll get for you guys in a minute. So I ended up going on like Vistaprint and ordering, you know, not just, well, bags I got separately, but I even went on Vistaprint and print out, printed out these mailers. You know, I got the, you know, all this stuff kind of adds up to give you, or at least the buyer, some illusion of value, you know? Um, and I got these bags here from some packaging, plastic packaging website. These are the thinner ones that, you know, are like, uh, I don't know, 14 inches in length. And then I don't know, six, 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 yeah, six inches wide. They have the, the tops on them. Then I also got from Uline, you know, these larger bags, which are, you know, above and beyond a large plastic bag, what you would, what most people would probably need. And then of course I throw this in the larger bag. Yeah, this came from a company called the Packaging Company, these um, individual bags. And I ordered a thousand of each, you know, cause it's not like I'm only gonna be doing this for a short time. I imagine, you know, there's a lot of orders and uh, you know, you order the stuff in bulk and it ends up coming out to you cheaper. So, you know, I think it really uh, made things look nice and people appreciated it this year, uh, more so I think than last and, or prior years. You know, um, the quality of the cuttings are, you know, as best as I can do, as best as mother nature allows some of the cuttings. And maybe if you're gonna sell cuttings in the future, I think uh, you will always have some defects. You will always have something that somebody points out that do they don't like. You know, one thing I think is pests. You know, if you have something that is, 
you know, like a lot of scale or something or some other pest that overwinters on the cutting itself, then that's obviously not a great thing. And I tried really careful, even inspecting the trees before I took the cuttings to make sure that there was very little scale on the branches, if any. Um, trying to remove that uh, actually manually, you can just rub your hands up and down against the, um, the branches. Not a lot of the trees to begin with even had scale, but I'm sure there is some scale that some people just may not see. I may not see it myself. I'm, I may, I mean, no one's perfect. There's a lot of wood here. Uh, people want typically cuttings that are, you know, a bit more lignified. And unfortunately for people who live in humid places, like myself, the trees just grow and grow and grow all winter and they don't lignify perfectly by the, uh, the fall, by the frost. And then they lose their leaves and you don't end up having perfectly lignified cuttings. So if, you know, there is some limitations of what I can offer. And then also you have, let's say if there's some sap, um, I've noticed on some of the cuttings, the sap can dry, the fig sap can dry on the cutting and it dries black and it appears as though maybe there's something wrong with the cutting. But it, you know, as I tell people with these, with this listing here, you know, just lightly brush the cuttings and that's really just a cosmetic thing. Um, you know, I think if you could wash them and there's so many cuttings to wash for my own, you know, personal sale that it just seemingly is impossible. But, you know, if you did wash them and made them look a little bit nicer, I, that would even go even further when it came to value. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, just an interesting thing here really quickly. I guess that this person ordered, we have, you know, Brianzolo Rosso. Uh, we have Blanche de Saison, and, you know, some of these... Not all of them, but some of them, you know, were more cuttings than I even had in the listing. You know, if it was three cuttings, then maybe some of them, there was an extra, you know. Here's Daloso, you know, absolutely one of my favorite varieties. LSU Tiger, so uh, good, it's such a perf good performer. Noir de Barbantane, amazing tasting fig, like uh, a lot like Black Madeira. Here's Col Noir. This is again four cuttings in one package. Um, I'm also trying not to seal the tops, you know, uh, completely. Even though they have zip blocks at the top, trying to make sure that there is some air that's getting in, um, so that it's not stale and you're not producing, I think, anaerobic conditions uh, inadvertently. Here's LSU Huye, and then that's it. You know, this this is just a lot of wood for somebody. Um, and then I throw the invoice here inside as well as this thank you that I've written up with the discount code for future orders. And then uh, on the back is just handling instructions. You know, like not everyone watches the videos I put out. Not everyone has all this information in one place. It is on the blog, but, you know, different things like how to actually use them. And it talks about washing them and scrubbing them and you know, different things to kind of look out for. If there's a problem, contact me, you know, and then of course, how to store them properly because not everyone's gonna get them in the mail and then use them immediately. Uh, and then once that's all done, we just throw it right here into these bubble mailers that of course are the right size. You gotta get the right size for everything. Um, and then when it's all done, <laughs> you know, I put them here in this box uh, down on the floor a lot of packages to ship out on tomorrow, Monday. And then I'll take these actually to my computer and print out postage, weigh them, print out postage. The whole thing, you know, for this many packages, um, 20 to 30 packages roughly is what I typically do um, per, per uh, you know, trip to the post office or per packaging them up. Um, you know, that's about three hours worth of work. Um, then of course you got to go to the post office. Um, the postage isn't cheap, but if you can sign up for something like, you know, a postage service that is connected to the, you know, the post office or even some other shipping, um, even some other postal service, you, uh, you know, it is cheaper if you can sign up for something like that. Um, but typically what ends up happening, you know, you have something like this, um, the size of the package really doesn't matter all that much. Um, if you go over a pound at the post office, it is a priority, it has to be priority. Um, 
which is typically around ten dollars um, it is a little cheaper for people closer but I would say on average it's about ten dollars from here in, in the Philadelphia area um, then if you have you know let's say um, you know let's say the person only ordered one set of cuttings well this is maybe only three or four or five ounces you know it depends on the cuttings themselves as well this may only be about three dollars it may also you know if you had thicker wood and the, the more it goes up I think it's like 35 cents every ounce or something so you may end up having you know for someone like this that ordered let's say three of them well this may still be considered first class if it's under a pound which I believe it is just by feel um, and then this would probably be somewhere in like you know six seven dollar range um, so it, you know it, it depends on what people want and, and you know, I think next year what I'll probably do is offer two different shipping rates that people want to select. You know, um, if even if they, it is under a pound, do they want it there faster and willing to pay a little bit more? You know, that five extra dollars for shipping. Um, you know, it's not just the postage though that goes into the cost of the shipping. You know, you have to think about the bags. You know, these sharpies. Um, you know the the actual shipping materials themselves even these mailers and things uh, paper um, even your own time you know and driving there and gas and you know um, there's a lot to it that uh, you know people don't necessarily think of um, but you can kind of all put that together and at the end of the day you know hopefully you're not losing money on shipping but you probably are you know that's really the truth of the matter um, so your profits are going to take probably a hit. And then if you're going to sell something, you know, that's, uh, on eBay or really most sites that you can sell things on, they're going to take a cut. Um, also the credit card companies are going to take a cut. PayPal takes a cut. Um, so you're, you're looking at probably, you know, somewhere around, it, I would say, between selling fees and credit card fees, you could look at 5%, 6% uh, right there taken away from you. Um, but at the end of the day, again, if you had some sort of, you know, ability to, to grow these trees, um, there's not a whole lot of cost that goes into actually growing them. You know, nature takes care of that and they grow regardless of what I do, essentially. Um, so I planted a tree in the ground and it's, I see it as an investment, you know, not every tree is going to be an investment. Um, I'm lucky in this sense that there's a niche when it comes to figs, but you know, that's one way to do it. And of course, if you really got good at propagating, selling plants is, can be a very, uh, profitable thing. Um, and you know, for me, at least this cutting sale happens in a very short amount of time. It's a lot of work, but it's in a very short amount of time. And, um, for that freedom, I don't think I'd really trade it, uh, you know, for anything. Unless I was just so swamped with something really that made more money than this, um, that I, I just probably wouldn't do it. Um, I just wouldn't have time. But again, if you have some sort of social media platform, I'm sure, you know, that's kind of what it is your, your goal is. Um, so, you know, I hope that sort of helps it out, helps the whole thing out. And, it, you know, just to actually up here, this, uh, these boxes and things, I have them sort of separated um, by their names. And then, of course, um, alphabetically, so that I can find them easily. Because there's so many varieties, you know, hundreds of varieties that I'm dealing with here. And then I'm selling. So it just, it really does make it a lot easier if uh, you can be organized and make this process just so much quicker. Um, yeah, so that, that's a big deal, but I do want to thank, you know, all the people watching, obviously, who aren't thinking about doing this. Um, we're not really even just interested in my process of a glimpse of what goes on into all this. Um, and you guys are just fans, you know, thank you to all those people out there uh, watching who, um, you know, really for the last two years, it's been mostly that we've, we've been selling cuttings. Um, 
seriously. Um, I think three years ago, we weren't really serious at all and we sold very few or I think at one year I sold them in packs for very affordable prices. Um, that may have been four years ago. I'm not sure, but whatever I think is left over, and by the way, I want to mention this, whatever is left over, um, I will either root myself, but I think I will do a giveaway and I may try to raise some money um, to actually donate um, or I may just give it away and make some sort of donation myself. I probably will match, maybe I'll do some sort of matching thing um, for whatever it goes for. So um, yeah, that's, that's it guys. I, I really do want to say thank you and happy new year, everybody out there, because it is the new year now. Um, and to be honest with you, um, you know, I think it's, it's, and I've been saying this for a while, it's just more important now than ever to really, you know, value the people around you and, um, uh, you know, really, um, you know, put a lot of effort into your family, your friends, and, you know, um, the people who love you in your life, because it's, it's important, you know, um, not that I, lost anybody, but I know people have, and um, beyond that, this has just, I think, been a reminder to most people that, um, or at least a easy way to wake up and smell the coffee, you know, that um, your life is short and that we need to really um, put an emphasis on the people around us, because even beyond that, even, you know, disregarding the virus, that's just how we should be, you know, we should be, um, respecting, um, each other and, uh, you know, trying to live our lives to the best of our ability. And, and the more, you know, good people we have in our lives, the better is my opinion. So anyway, thank you. We'll see you soon. All right. Take care. Hit that subscribe button if you guys got this far. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you guys for the next one.